Hi guys. Um, I'm probably gonna get interrupted a bunch because <gasps> this stove was on the whole time. I almost just burnt down the house. <laughs> carne asada fries and i actually asked a bunch of my friends like you know like how to make it the right way and they said that it's actually like an la thing so i'm making it i didn't know it was an la thing i had no idea but i just found out last night um but so i was just editing and why did i grab the bag of steak that hard i said <laughs> anyways moving on i got some steak in a bag that i got from the halal meat store just telling you guys that it's halal because everybody's like is that halal Layla? because i'm pretty sure it's not halal but i got it from the halal meat store so anyways um i got i feel like i'm kind of like a disgrace because i bought like pre-made salsa but whatever and i got some sour cream because i love sour cream and then i got cheese because you need cheese and then i got oh, I got these three different, um, I got an email. I got these three different hot sauces. This one's my favorite. I always get it at the taco shop that I always go to. What did I tell you? Sorry, bro, but I finally got the marble off. That's what you were doing? Yes. Can I mix it? Nothing? Get out of my face. It's got no. She, I bought her one of those like Japanese sodas. I don't remember what they're called. And she went outside and smashed it into the ground until it broke and took the little marble ball that's inside of it. Go to class. Um, anyways, so I have these three. This was my favorite from the taco shop that I always go to. And then I have, um, also a disgrace, I bought pre-made salsa. I mean, pre-made guacamole because I suck at making guacamole even though it's like one of the easiest things to make. I suck. And um, I didn't feel like doing all of that so and like when i had it before one of my cousins and friends made it for me and they just used pre-made guacamole so i'm just using pre-made guacamole um and then i bought like a huge bag of crinkle fries and i'm just gonna throw it in the oven because i don't feel like frying it i'm just gonna throw it in the oven so now we can start here's my nice giant pan this is one of my favorite pans but anyways um, I feel like this video is going to take forever because I don't know when to shut up. Also, do you guys see how one of my eyes is bigger than the other? Love it here. Also, I woke up this morning and I was like, hmm, we're going to do natural makeup today. And then I started doing my makeup and ended up with this. This is not natural makeup. I'm not wearing any foundation though, so like, kind of snapped. Um, what did I tell you? I also got toothpicks. I also got toothpicks because steak gets in between your teeth. Hey. I'm recording. So yeah, let's just start on the steak. My mom told me that I have to cook it for a while because she doesn't, she thinks that I always make raw food, but I don't. So she's just being mean. This like camera angle is not working at all. Also don't roast me. I know I'm just grabbing the whole thing and just pouring it in there, but like, I don't care at all. Um, this camera angle sucks, guys. Like, I don't know. You can only see like the, this part of my face when I'm like making the food, whatever. I'm so excited to eat this. You guys don't even understand. Um, also, iced coffee. I bought this uh, cinnamon creamer. It tastes like cinnamon toast. My other brother just like, I'm pretty sure you guys at least saw some of his shirt as he like crawled past. I hate this house. Anyways, um, I can never record anything in peace because I have eight siblings. If you guys didn't know that, I have eight siblings and uh, can't do shit in this house because of the fact that I have eight siblings. Um,
not very I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up for a little bit because once I start talking, I don't know how to shut up. And then I just keep running my mouth and then the video ends up being 40 minutes long because I don't know how to shut up. But is this, it's not hot yet, but you know, whatever. Oh, no it is. I'm trying to get like the thinnest slices in here because I'm impatient as fuck and I don't feel like waiting at all. And this pan isn't big enough to fit all of it. And I was just planning on making this for myself and then all my siblings were like, make us some too. So yeah, I forgot to get a spoon. So. I remember I used to go live all the time and like do whole cooking streams where I'm just like cooking. <gasps> I should start Twitch streams where I cook. But once I have enough money to buy a camera, I'm gonna start Twitch streaming where I like make food. So yeah, I'm gonna like let this cook and then I'm gonna flip it. And then I'm gonna cook the other ones. Then I'm gonna throw them all in it together and season the shit out of it and then just shred it up. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna get my french fries on. Uh, my french fries are kind of defrosting, but they're also kind of already defrosted. I didn't feel like making, peeling up a whole bunch of potatoes and cutting them up because I'm making it for the whole family. And that's gonna take forever. And that's gonna take forever. So let me just grab an aluminum pan or something. So hold on. I actually already, what if you can't even hear me because my case is so fat and maybe like, maybe like people can't even hear me because of how fat my case is whenever I'm recording. What are you doing? Or whatever yeah are you gonna go what the hell? Mm -hmm. i'm about to get tired of it it's steak i have to cook it and then receive it and then shut it So my makeup kind of looks a little bit too light for my face. I think I bought setting powder that's too bright. I look kind of cute. This isn't very entertaining, but I don't know. I just need content for YouTube and I like cooking. My mom always wanted me to have my own cooking channel, but we're not doing that. Should I do that actually? Would you guys like that? Comment down below if you guys would like to see me having a cooking channel. Should I get back to you guys when the meat is fully cooked? I think I should do that. So I'll be right back with you guys when this is done cooking. Okay. I don't know why I started recording. I wasn't even fully done. Never mind. Hold on. Okay. I shredded up half of it. Did you just take a bite out of it? No, I smoked it. I shredded up half of it. He's shredding up the other half for me while I continue recording. Um, I put it back in here. So now I'm gonna turn the stove back on uh, and add some water so I can start seasoning it so it doesn't burn. The first thing I'm gonna add is some of this cayenne because this smells really good actually. I like the way it smells. I smelled it and I think it's what's in here. I think it's cayenne. They're like the same color too, so I think it is. Can't do this. I like a lot of seasoning. It's too hard. My Use your fingers like I did, you idiot. I did. No, you did not use the knife. Oh. Okay, that was actually the right amount. I thought I was using onion powder for a second. Now for the onion powder. Uh, this meat tenderizer, I don't like the way it smells. So I'm not gonna use that. Salt. Can't get the other side open, whatever. Ooh. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> yeah, like shred it as small as you can get it. This is Vegeta, all purpose seasoning. 
I don't know what other people call it, but we call it Marcus Gag. Just a little bit of that because I like the way it tastes. Ooh. Ooh. I think I inhaled some of that stuff. Um, a lime. I used to call this a lemon for the longest. Uh, I didn't know it was called a lime because I only learned how to say it in English. I mean, in Somali, which is lean. It's called lean in England, Somali. I must say it in England. Um, I'm gonna beat it up to get more flavor out of it. Ooh. I hope the whole camera's not vibrating. Oh my god, it is. Okay, I'm gonna beat up this other one and then I'm gonna move the camera back into frame. I don't know if other people do this, but my mom makes me do this before I use it because then you get way more juice out of it. Um, let me move this back into frame. Whew. Anyways, I feel like I'm missing some seasonings. Oh yeah, paprika. Also, I'm not exactly sure if they are the same thing or not, so I'm gonna add some of this as well. So, what is what? I think you just do all over the steak. Seasoning? No, no, I didn't throw anything black over the steak. I don't know if I'm allowed, wait, people do cooking videos on YouTube all the time. I'm allowed to use a knife. This isn't TikTok. Okay. Oh, the paper's still on there. This is a hot mess. Gordon Ramsay would probably punch me in the face if he saw me right now. He'd probably call me an idiot sandwich as well. I should probably be talking about something. What can I talk about? Um, hmm. I don't know what to talk about, guys. I'm very bad at just coming up with stuff while I'm, like, cooking. I'm usually, like, when I'm focused, I'm, like, dead silent. <sighs> Ow! Ugh. Yeah, when I get really focused, I get really quiet. And then I, like... And the video is boring because I like really focus on trying to make my food taste good or whatever. But like, and then also like when I live stream, I usually play music while I'm cooking. So it's like still kind of interesting because I'm like lip syncing to the songs. Um, but I can't do that right now because, uh, because I'll get copyrighted. Um, I had a cut on my finger and the, the, the line got right into the cut and it hurts. I hope I'm calling it the right thing. Lemon is the yellow one, right? Right? Mm -hmm. They're both sour shit. I think I need a little bit more seasoning in this. Oh, I could do like a story time. That's what I was planning on doing for this video and I just completely forgot that that's what I was supposed to be doing. Um, story time. Oh, the my terrible high school. A lot of people keep telling me to get over it and shut up, but I talk about it all the time because it was traumatizing. Um, I talked about this before on my live stream, but I never made a video about it. My school was really weird, and um, they like to uh, do this thing where, like, they would this, they would give us like blood retention, or just turn around and walk. Anyways, um, they had like a weird way of trying to motivate students. So my um, her principal came up to me one day, and. Um, he walks up to me and he goes, he grabs my arm. And I told him multiple times, do not touch me. It's against my religion for you to touch me because I'm Muslim and I'm not supposed to touch boys and boys are not supposed to touch me. So move. And so, um, and I really only did that to him. Like my nice teachers, I'd be like, what's up, mister? And I was like, you know, I didn't care. But he was really weird and he would stare at the girl's asses all the time. So I was like, don't touch me, you weird ass old man. So to make him stop touching me, I would be like, yeah, it's against my religion, don't touch me. So then sometimes he would and sometimes he wouldn't. So he walks up to me and grabs my shoulder and I'm like looking at him like, why the fuck are you holding my shoulder? And he's like way taller than me. And I was like, what? And he goes, Layla, you have really bad grades and you're a Muslim and you're a woman and you're black. So I'm gonna need you to try a little bit harder, okay? And I was like, what? He was like, it's gonna be very hard for you to make it in your life. And I was like, and I look at him in the eyes. And the funny thing about this story is that my principal was also black. So I'm like, I know you did not just tell me that I'm not gonna make it in your life because I'm black, because you're also black. That doesn't make any sense. And I'm not one to body shame, I would never body shame, but I got really triggered. And he was like, yeah, you're Muslim, you're black and a woman. 
So you need to try a little bit harder. So I was like, oh my God, you're black and you're fat. And you became a principal. So I think I could do anything. So, and then I walked away and I went into my classroom and he came into the classroom after me and he was like, come here right now. And I was like, no, you can go back to your little tiny ass office, stupid. And then um, he just like left and um, he got really mad at me after that. And then basically one of the girls who used to bully me in middle school um, started trying to like pick on me again. It was like really weird. I was like, why the fuck are you trying to pick on me? Like, I'm not 13 anymore. I will literally punch you in the face. Stop, right? So she starts trying to pick on me again. And uh, she started like telling the teachers that I was like this terrible person. And I was like, I'm the terrible person? Okay. Um, but anyways, so she starts like basically talking shit about me with the other teachers, talking about how terrible of a person I am, how I'm like doing all this shit to her to bother her. And I was like, you're literally in my face for no reason. And so one day she, we were like in class and she got mad about something and she like storms out of the classroom. And so the bell rings, the bell's about to ring and we're like standing at the door, like imagine this is the door right here. And I'm like standing waiting for the bell to ring so I can get out of the classroom. And she sees me through the window that I'm leaning on the door and she just slams the door and it flies open and smacks into the back of my head. And she goes and walks away and I was like, pardon me? And so she like walks back and she tries to grab the door again and she hits me with it again. And I was like, listen, this is not seventh and eighth grade. We're not doing this again. This is like senior year, girl, stop. So I back up and I slam the door onto her. So she gets stuck in between the door and the wall. And then she's like, <laughs> and she runs away. And I was like, so when you do it to me, it's okay, but if I do it to you, you're gonna start crying and running away, but whatever. Then she, um, she started like talking shit about me with this one teacher who was also a hijabi and she was Muslim. And she was really weird. She was always in my business. So one day I like I had like this best friend, and I don't know if he's comfortable with me saying his name, but he like came up to me and gave me a hug, and I hugged him back. And like as I'm hugging him, she takes a picture of me, and she goes, "Hmm, I wonder what your father would say about this." I was like, first of all, why are you taking pictures of a minor, you weirdo? You're a grown ass woman with three kids and a husband. Why are you taking pictures of me? Then I was like, okay, send it to him. What is he gonna do? What is he? I think I just saw a fly, but whatever. What is he gonna do? Hmm. And so she just gets quiet and I just like looked at her like she was fucking stupid because she is fucking stupid. I don't know if she thought I was gonna get scared, if she thought I was gonna go cry and beg her to delete the picture, but I'm not like that. And I feel like I probably sound like a meanie. I'm not a meanie. I was just standing up for myself. Um, what do you want? Yeah, I talk really fast, guys. My sister just came out here to tell me that I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry, guys. I talk really fast. I can't help it. Um, can you grab me another aluminum thingy over there, the tiny ones? And um, what's it called? I got really triggered. A bunch of other shit happened. I went to the principal. I was like, hey, the girl who used to bully me in the eighth grade is trying to start picking on me again. She's trying to like start drama up with me again. And he was like, well, she's been bullying you since the seventh or eighth grade. Why didn't you tell me earlier? And I was like, excuse me, when I was in the seventh grade, you saw me sitting on the bathroom floor, eating my lunch on the bathroom floor. And you told me I wasn't allowed to do that anymore. So you made me go into the classroom. And when I went into the classroom, you proceeded to, ooh, ooh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, ow. You proceeded, why did I take it? I don't know why I took it out. Anyways, I was like, you're the one who saw me crying on the bathroom floor, eating my lunch alone in the bathroom, okay? And you didn't do anything about it. So why are you asking me now? So in the seventh grade, I was eating lunch in the bathroom. He caught me. He made me go to the classroom. Then he asked me why I was eating lunch in the bathroom. And I was like, because nobody likes me and I'm too scared to go into the cafeteria. Because every time I walk into the cafeteria, all the girls who didn't like me be like, uh -huh, I will. And I walk like a scarecrow and I have a coconut head. And they would like mimic the way that I walked. So I just was like, too scared to go into the cafeteria. And um, I told him that and he didn't care. Then in the eighth grade, I was getting bullied again. He was still kind of at school, but kind of not at school. Basically, they were teaching him how to become a principal for the high school because the high school didn't open yet. Because at my school, um, it was like, I was always the oldest because it started with fifth graders. Then when we were in the sixth grade, they started sixth graders. Then when we were in the seventh grade, they added seventh grade. So every year, we were always the oldest in the school, right? And this cheese feels really weird and wet, but whatever. And so, um... Then eighth grade, he knew I was getting bullied too. Some girls basically like did a bunch of shit, but like, the one time that I actually told the teacher was because um, we were in the cafeteria, we were in the auditorium doing like a community meeting thingy, and the girls who were sitting behind me basically like started like stop. Oh, I was supposed to wait till it got crunchy. It's too late now, whatever. Fuck it. Um, this is what happens when I talk while I'm cooking. I get distracted. Oh, 
I wanted it to be crunchy. Now it's not gonna be crunchy. That sucks, whatever. Um, so, uh, basically they sat behind me on the bleachers and they started like kicking and like stop kicking like where I was sitting. And they were like, look at her. She's such a whore, she's twerking for us. You want the boys' attention that badly? And I was like, you're literally stomping on my seat, what do you mean? So I got really mad and I told the teacher and the teacher was like, she called them out and she told them to say sorry to me and they said sorry and they were like, maybe if you stood up for yourself, we wouldn't be having this problem worse. And I was like, girl, I promise you, if I had stood up for myself, the only reason why I never said anything is because I didn't want to get expelled from that school because it was like seen as a really good school. And so, um, so my chicken just fell out. But yeah, that was the only reason I never wanted to get expelled from the school. And so uh, if I had stood up for myself, I would have probably punched you in your fat ass face, but I didn't. I just told the teacher. And um, they got even more mad at me. Then they started picking on me even more. One day I was like, and this was in eighth grade. One day I was like coming into school and like the stairs were like the kind of stairs that goes up and then there's a break and then it goes up again. So I walk in and they always stand at the top and they're like so cool and they hang out with their boyfriends and they stand at the top. And so I'm like walking and they hit a milk carton and it spills all over my head. And they start screaming and laughing and they run away. And I'm just standing there, milk all over my head. I like run to the bathroom to clean myself up. And so I ended up late to class. And then by the time I get to class, the teacher's like, why are you late, Lilo? And I was like, and you see that I am soaked. And you're gonna ask me why I'm late. You should be asking me if I'm okay, you piece of shit ass teacher. Um, but she was like, why are you late? And I was like, um, I'm, and I, before I could even explain myself, she's like, that's a deduction. And I was like, whatever. I just took the deduction and walked away. And deduct, for those of you guys who've never been to a charter school, deductions and demerits and that shit. What do you guys call it at your school? Recommitments. Recommitments. That shit is basically like, you get paychecks at the end of every week for some reason. Like we're five-year-olds. They give us a paycheck at the end of every week. And um, for the paycheck, ooh, the bottom of it is crispy cheese. Anyways, look how crispy the cheese is. Anyways, um... You get a paycheck at the end of the every week. And if your paycheck is good, then you get special lunch. And if your paycheck sucks, then you get lunch detention and you get treated like shit by the teachers, basically. And sometimes you even get detention for literally doing nothing. So yeah, that was the school that I went to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was the school that I went to. And my little sister also go to a school like that and they get treated like that at their school as well. Um, I don't know, I kinda hate the whole system of charter schools, but whatever, I have to deal with it. Are my fries ready? I'm just like, running my fucking mouth. Okay, let me put it on broil so it gets crispy. Anyways, is this going on too long? I don't know, are you guys even enjoying this? I don't know, anyways. So, what was I talking about? Hey, where'd you go, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, they also like to rub it in our faces that the other kids had better grades than us and had um, a lot of dollars in their paychecks because they do a bunch of extra ass shit for no reason. And they give bonuses. So they have like $30 paychecks, $40 paychecks, and I have like a negative $20 paycheck because I keep getting deductions because I'm defending myself. And one time uh, they used to do this thing where if you had a $25 paycheck, then you get special breakfast. They order a whole buffet for you and you get to sit in front of all the students who are walking to class. They like set up like all these seats and everything. And if you're walking to class, you have to like watch the other kids eating these nice ass strawberry, apple cinnamon muffins and shit and you have to walk past them with your little granola bar and your fucking warm ass room temperature ass milk so they did that to like make us feel bad then in the middle school they would just put us in lunch detention and to embarrass us they would make us the last ones to get our lunch so everybody got their lunch everybody sits down and so they bring in the stupid kids like me and they like and the ones who have bad grades and the ones who have like barely any money in their paycheck they bring us uh, they bring us in and um they make everybody just like become quiet and watch us as we walk out and get our lunch. Like we're in jail or something. Uh, that's basically what they did to us to embarrass us. Then when I got to high school, they got TVs up in the cafeteria and they would put like, um, my makeup's too light for my face. They would put uh, top 10 best students with the best GPAs. Then they would cut all the kids with lunch attention just right there out for everybody to see, just to embarrass us just to embarrass us. And they would think that that would motivate us. They said that they did that to us to motivate us. That did not motivate me. That just made me want to become an even worse student so I can get dropped out and leave the school and go to a different school. That's all it really made me want to do. I got a little bit carried away. What? I needed some sugar because I haven't eaten anything. I got a little bit carried away, guys. This is what happens when I start talking about my school. I don't know how to shut up once I start. I hated that place. I would literally like be sitting down minding my own business and some girl would be like whore and just smack the shit out of me. And I'm like, actually, can you stop? That's a deduction, Layla. Go to the front office, you have detention for the next week. And I'm like, 
You saw her just chuck my binder across the room, slap the shit out of me, call me a whore, but I have detention? Are you kidding me? And one time this girl just like walks up to me, grabs my binder, throws it, it everything explodes everywhere. And I look at the teacher and the teacher looks at me in the eye and goes, go pick up your binder. And I was like, oh, I don't know if you're watching this, but you know who you are. If you're, if you're the teacher that did this to me in eighth grade and you're watching this, I will find you. I have some shit to say to you, but I can't say your name. So I'm not gonna say anything, but I have some shit for you. I hope I bump into you in public one day. Piece of trash. Um. Anyways, I got a little bit carried away, guys. I got a little bit. Mm. I'm gonna come back to you guys when the fries is ready. Hold on. Okay. The fries is gonna be ready in like two more seconds. I put it on broil and I put it on the top so it like gets more crispy. Um. I don't understand this guacamole. I bought it from Walmart and it was like already packaged and everything. But like, how is it not messed up? Cause like. Avocados don't do that. You leave them out for two seconds and they're ruined. They turn all brown and stuff. And this salsa smells so good. <coughs> Crack. That's what that is. All right, guys. I need to take it out of the oven. Yes, nice and crispy. Love it. Also, yes, I'm grabbing it out with this because I don't even know. Oh, the oven is over here. Never mind. Let me just stop. We love some crispy french fries. Whoa, whoa, I almost spilled all of it. Okay, I'm gonna plate it and get right back with you guys. Okay. It doesn't exactly look amazing. Like, it looks pretty damn good. Like, look at that. I'm trying to like a little, get a little bit of everything. Hold on, guys. We're gonna get the bite and get some of that hot sauce that's in there. I'm gonna have a like, really bad heartburn after this because the green hot sauce I've had it before and it like gives me the worst heartburn ever. But it tastes. Oh, also I got some haritos. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I really love haritos. That's what my friends told me. Is that cheese in no, the cheese is inside the hilib. I, I shredded it with the hilib. Oh. This is pretty good. You want a bite? Yeah, I'm not including it myself. Bye guys. Oh, I'm supposed to 